Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to add a header image in WordPress. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so before we jump in into the tutorial, let me just show you a nice list where you can get royalty free images for your website. Just go to the written blog post, you have the link in the description box down below. And here is a list where you can get beautiful images totally for free. So definitely check out this list. After you downloaded your desired image, go to your WordPress website into the customize screen and here based on the theme you are using, you will have multiple options to choose from. This is the storefront theme and this theme luckily have the option to add an image to the header. Again, not all themes will have the same options, but definitely check first the customization screen and verify if you have the option or not. If you do have the option, it's, it should be somewhere inside the header tab, just like so. And it will also show you what are the right dimension of the image. So definitely make sure you have the image with the right dimension. Click on this button to add the image. Then you can crop it however you want. And once you did, you will see the image that was added to the header. And you can see it as a background image over here, just behind the logo and the menu. Just click on publish and you're ready to go. If you are using a page builder like Elementor to build your website, we can definitely assign a background image to any section when using Elementor. And we can also assign it to the header, of course. So let's click on the header section. And here we will move into the style tab and we can set the background to normal. Now under the normal, we can set a background solid color or a background image. If you wanna add an image, just click on the image icon here, choose your image and click insert. You will see the background image immediately uh, behind the header section. However, it's not perfectly aligned. Let's change the settings over here. We'll change it to center center. We're also going to change it to no repeat and we'll change the size to cover. It looks way better now, but we are not done yet. Let's uh, expand the background overlay option. We'll change it to normal as well and we'll apply a nice background overlay just on top of the background image and of course we're also going to change the links color from dark color to white just like so and click on publish then we'll refresh our page and we can see our new header over here unlike what i showed you earlier some teams will not have the option to add a header image inside the customization screen for example this is not a storefront theme and we can't see the option to add an header uh, image. However, we can still do it with a CSS rule. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's fairly easy and I will show you exactly how to do it. First, click on the additional CSS tab and here we'll need to paste a CSS code. So let's go to the written blog post. Again, you have the link in the description. Copy the CSS rule from here. Paste it over here inside the additional CSS window. And all we need to do is just to change the CSS class and of course, uh, insert the image URL. So let's start first with the image URL. We'll go into our media library. We'll choose the image that we would like to display. We'll copy the URL link and we'll replace the text over here with the actual URL of the image, just like so. Now we will need to display it behind the header, right? So first of all, we need to inspect the header and get the right class of the header. So right click is anywhere on the header and click on inspect or inspect element. Now you will see this developer tool over here. Don't panic, we're only going to use it for a split second. Click on this icon over here and go up the dome until you find the header. Once you did, you can see over here that you are inside the header and you also have an ID and class. So let's focus on the class, we'll copy it. Close the inspection window and change the class over here. We'll delete it and paste the class of the header. Then immediately you'll be able to see the background image behind the header. Of course, this is just the first step. You will need to have an additional CSS in order to style it better. Of course, every theme will require different CSS and I can show all of them over here. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave us a comment and I will help you with your specific theme. And in this last method, we'll add an image to the header from the template files but this time it won't be a background image but an additional element to the header 
Now this is definitely more advanced uh, way to do it and I recommend you to do it only if you have basic understanding of template files in WordPress. Anyhow, so go to appearance, team editor and enter into the header.php file of your child team. When inspecting this file, we can see that the header is generated by a template inside the template parts called header. So we'll click on it as well. Here we can see the header tag start over here and ends over here. Great, now let's create a space just above the header or in the position where you would like to add the image and we'll copy this HTML tag. The image HTML tag, we'll paste it over here. And all we have left to do is just to replace this text with the actual URL of the image. So this time we'll choose uh, this image, we'll copy the URL and paste it over here. We'll update the file and revisit our website. And we can see that the element was added to the header as an additional element. Before wrapping things up, I would like to show you how to get any premium WordPress plugin or theme for 97% of the original price. Just go to pluginsforwp.com and click on the download free in order to download our free plugin manager that we developed. After you download it, go back to your WordPress website into Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, and over here choose and upload the plugin that you just downloaded from us. Click Install and then activate the plugin. Then go to the new Plugins for WP tab that was added to your WordPress sidebar. Browse between the thousands plugins and themes that we are offering. If you are looking for a specific one, type it over here and the results will appear in front of you. Browse the search results and find the item that you were looking for. When you found it, just click on purchase. You will be redirected to our cart where you can purchase this plugin for only $4.99, which is 97% of the original price. If you are looking to get multiple items, consider getting one of our unlimited downloads plans and enjoy unlimited downloads for only $12.97 a month or $87 a year. All right, guys. So thank you very much once again for watching this video. If you have any questions about the process or if you need specific uh, CSS rules for the team you are using, please let us know by leaving a comment down below or in the written blog post, we'll respond way quicker that way. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.